Hello everybody, welcome back to another Batania tutorial. In today's tutorial, we'll be using one of my favorite ways to generate mana. That is using the Nar Slimus, which is the flower that generates mana from slimes spawned in a slime chunk. Now in today's episode, we're going to be having a look at how to find the slime chunk, how to build in the slime chunk, and then how to get a bunch of mana for doing absolutely nothing. So let's get to it. Now before we go anywhere, I want to demonstrate something quickly. Uh, in the Lexic of Britannia, it does say that this has to be generated in the slime chunk. So if we put a slime down here, you can see they don't get destroyed. They just jump off the edge and you don't get any mana for it. So it has to be from a slime chunk, just so that you know. Okay, to find a slime chunk, you're going to need to make yourself what is called a slime in a bottle. Now, you'll need these ingredients here, so elementum ingots, elf glass, and a slime ball. Now these two, you need to have already made yourself a portal to Elfheim. And for the slime ball, if you're playing Garden of Glass, your easiest way to get it is by going to the nether, grabbing yourself a magma cream, using a water bucket on that, and first slime ball, just like that. Then what you want to do is go up to a crafting table, craft the thing up, and I will show you how to use it once we've got one. So there's our slime in the bottle, and it looks like we're very lucky. We are most probably standing in a slime chunk right now, so let's press F9. And F9 again. So, there we go. Now, what you can see on my hotbar here is the slime jumping up and down in the bottle. You can see it all the way throughout this entire chunk, because this is a slime chunk. As soon as we walk into that one, nothing. And you can also see it in my hand, you can see it jumping up and down like that. So that's the easiest way to find a slime chunk. Once you guys have got yourself a slime in a bottle, or you have gone online and searched for where your slime chunks are, find your slime chunk, like that, and you can see I've already started building some platforms. So we'll go down all the way here until your Y position is Y equals 38. Now, they will spawn from Y equals 40, but Y equals 38 is the level you'll need to build on to allow that these slimes to spawn. Now, you can see I've gone and built every possible platform you can build here. We've left a three gap in between platforms, so you can see that guy can spawn, all those guys can spawn, and we'll just keep going down. So, another thing I've done is I've left glowstone in the middle there just to make sure that they are bright enough so that things will, <laughs> other mobs won't, won't spawn while we're doing this. But you'll see soon enough that we don't actually need any other light sources, even that glowstone won't be necessary. So what we're going to do is we're going to lay out our Nar Slimuses. Now you only need one platform, but the more platforms, the more mana, really. Now what I'm going to do is this is the full chunk completely laid out. You can see here, I'll show you, that is the whole chunk there that I filled up. You don't need to fill the whole chunk as well. But I've done it. Now, the e the most efficient way to do this is to go one, two, three, four blocks, and on the fifth block, over there, and then four blocks there, which coincidentally, that one there is. And if you wanted to cover the most area, that would be one of your best ones. Now, the reason for that is, I'll explain once I've done this, so it's there, there, and I'm fairly certain around there. The reason, as I say, is because if we just select that there, We've only got two blocks in the middle there, and two blocks in the middle there that aren't covered, along with two blocks on the sides here that aren't covered. Now, all you need is a slime that spawns in there, the smallest one, to go within two blocks, or any of the other sizes will pretty much immediately be destroyed by the Snar Slimers. So, that's the way we're going to do that. We're going to just fill up all these floors with these, and then I'll be back. And actually, before I am gone... I'll explain why we don't need the light, and that's because we're only using the floating Nar Slimus variants. This is, as far as I'm concerned, one of the most efficient ways of getting the mana away from the Nar Slimuses and getting them to work more efficiently. So as long as they are backed up, they will not kill any slimes, you won't get any mana, and that's not really the point of this farm. So I've got a mana pool in the middle here, so kind of place it in one of these four blocks, because there's no dead center to this. Then place an elven mana spreader. It must be probably an elven mana spreader. If you can get away with the normal one, perhaps if you're not getting enough slime spawning, but I recommend the elven mana spreaders. They work a charm, and each of these have also got a spark on them. You can see there, all these sparks, just plain sparks, all the way down. I've also got those sparks connected to a mana pool around here, and that mana pool's filled up already, which is quite insane because it hasn't been running for too much longer than what I've been recording for, so <laughs> that's that's really, really cool. Now, there's a mana pool there, there's a mana pool there, and we've got away with only two. So the way I've done it is I've gone down one, two, three, and on the fourth platform, I've gone one block up, so we'll just grab a block there. You can see I've got one block up and out, and that's close enough for all of these mana pools to connect to that, down to this one here. This one will, 
this one down here won't. And that's why we've got this one here doing the exact same thing, four down and then there. And that works really, really well. Now, as far as I can see, that is the easiest way to get mana out of here. And another thing, by the way, with these blocks on the sides, they might still spawn some mobs. You can see there, the reason we're not getting mob spawn is because it's daytime in our world. But if you were going to try and kill two birds with one stone, we could, for instance, get some mana glass. We could go mana. There we go. And we're going to need to build a wall around this. If you have built this in a garden of glass world, you, you'll most definitely need to build a wall or else you're going to lose a lot of slime. So if you put mana glass around, you'll see that gives off light. And you won't have any problems with mob spawning. So if you wanted to just do that, get yourself a full wall and you'll have the most efficient slime farm I think you can get. Okay guys, so that seems to be everything I think you'll need to know about making one of my favorite farms, as I say, in Britannia. And also, by the way, I should have a tutorial coming out for a better way to send mana from those pools on the sides there out to your main mana system. So stay tuned for that. But I hope this has come in handy. I hope you can get a lot out of this. This is basically the most passive of a farm you can get with Decay on. But thank you very much, guys. Hope this helps. And I'll see you next time.